Hello and welcome to another very exciting episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, here we go again. Except this time, since I've been getting a lot of comments, can I do this in acrylics? Can I paint in acrylics? I've got acrylics. I can't use these oils. I've got acrylics. What's the matter with you? <laughs> so I thought I'd do a painting in acrylics because uh, I've also got some as well. And uh, actually in between oils and water mixable oils I spent a, a bit of time with acrylics not a lot of time and to be honest my knowledge of acrylics isn't very good so if you want to learn more about acrylics you can check uh, the iCards I've linked a few videos of uh, Clive Five Arts channel um, because he seems to have studied acrylics quite a lot <laughs> to the point where he makes stuff for acrylics so He's the best person to ask, I would say. Not me. But I can do a painting with acrylics and I'll talk you through what I'm doing and uh, see what happens. I'm kind of excited because I'm using something different. And I'm using my painting that I did. Um, if you've not watched it, um, it's called Headlands. And I'm using it as my <laughs> my reference now. There it is. Da -da. And that's in oils water mixable oils uh, so we'll put that there and I'll glance at it but I'm not doing the exact same picture I'm just going to use it as reference and so what what am I using <laughs> these are Windsor and Newton Galleria I think they're called Galleria or Galeria that sounds better <laughs> um, yeah Windsor and Newton acrylics and and uh, so let's get started I guess. Uh, do I need a drawing first? Maybe I'll do one. So I'll use a bit of blue. I'm using cobalt blue. So because um, acrylics dry fast, <laughs> what I do, I know this is totally wrong, I haven't got a uh, an atomizer yet to spray water on stuff. I usually drip some water over the paint like this. Let's move all these. Yeah, get some more water. We don't need this to be thick. Yeah, so I do that. Um, not quite as insane as that, but I just drop water on the top just to make it a little bit wetter. There's stay wet palettes and all sorts out there for acrylic painters. So, <laughs> like I said, I'm no expert, but I wanted to uh, show you that it's possible to do paintings with acrylics. Obviously it is. I'm making myself question why I'm doing this video. <laughs> oh yes, I remember. Because I thought, I've got some acrylics to use up. <laughs> nah. Uh, no, I've, got, I've had so many questions about acrylics recently, I, I thought, might as well. There we go, there's our headland, this headland's going to take up more space. Uh, maybe I'll change it, actually, maybe I'll do it like this. So I've got spaces. And then, remember when you're doing things like this, to change the shape, like this one is quite straight here, like that. And that one's got more roundedness. It's a different shape. Because when you're making things up out of your head, it's very easy to start doing the same thing. Same thing, and then it looks rubbish. <laughs> you don't want to do the same. You want to make it look different. So we'll have something like that. And then uh, I like I like the pattern of trees. So we'll have a pattern of trees that goes something like this. Like that. And then we can have a few trees on there as well. And wherever we like, really, we can, we can play around with that. And then the bottom bit, I quite like this the way that comes out there. So I might leave that there. And I quite like the separation as well. So it won't go too different, I don't think. I like that. I might might put some pools in instead. Pools of water in there, something like that instead. Break it up a bit there. 
maybe there's a connection there. I don't know. But yeah, I quite like that. So I'd say that's enough for uh, the sketch. Now, being acrylics, I knew where my hair dryer was. Because <laughs> I used to use that a lot when I had long hair. But now I don't, so I don't use it anymore. But if I knew where my hair dry was, I'd be drying that now, because then, when it's dry, <laughs> I could uh, start painting. But since, yeah, it, it's dry, it'd be drying as we paint, so I'm not too fussed. So what are we doing? I'm getting a bit of cerulean blue out as well. Now, I'm gonna use my magic fluid retarder. <laughs> This is a Winsor & Newton uh, fluid retarder that you can get with the paints. Hope you can see that. And I'll drop a drop on there. A couple of drops. Onto the paint. And then I'm going to mix them two together in the middle. And I'll make a third mix there of the cerulean blue. Cerulean blue, it's uh, it's actually cerulean blue hue. <laughs> it's funny, when I was a, uh, first started painting, I used to avoid the hue colours like the plague. It's like, not a hue. That means my painting is only going to be a mere hue of a colour and not a real colour. <laughs> I used to snob myself away from them. But now, as a... Uh, I've done paintings. I was thinking about it earlier, really. Anyway, now I've done a few paintings. Mm, the snobbiness has kind of subsided a bit. I don't really care what I use now. As long as it makes marks. So I'm going to use the same idea. Oh, I quite like that colour, actually. So I'm going to use little strokes like this strokes now because I'm used to oils oils feel different to acrylics they're uh, they, they've got more of a buttery feel where I can tell you now this feels like I'm not putting anything on the canvas it feels like just my brushes the bristles realized I don't think the backboard is uh, actually stuck yeah it's actually loose I should have really done this I got a feeling my episodes <laughs> are so amateurish <laughs> As long as you learn something from them, that's all I care about, really. I'm just jamming some tape in the back of there to try and stop it from knocking so much. Right, let's carry on painting. I'll try and be gentle. So as I'm doing these little crisscrosses like this. I'm throwing some colour in sometimes and sometimes I'll just use a bit of white and move it because in the oil ones you can see the brush strokes a little bit clearer so what I need to do is try and be a bit lighter with my strokes and then that way I'll get a similar effect you see it is possible it's possible <laughs> Just feel the paint on your brush. Feel that paint on the brush. Seems weird when you first start and someone says that to you. You're like, why why should I feel the paint on my brush? I'm just putting paint on canvas. But it's that feel that's important. So because I'm uh, moving quite quick, I suppose, 
some painters, not all painters, just some, some painters bomb through a picture. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my time a little bit and while it's still uh, wet, I can throw in bits of colour like I'm doing, change things up a little bit and just crisscross the colour in and then go over your line because I don't need that. Sit back, having a look. I'd like to put more colour in there. And then there. Sit back, have a look. Always sit back and have a look. Always, always. Okay, quite like that. I might as well, while I've got this colour going, I might as well put some water in. Hadn't I? Yes. Yes, you had. <laughs> so let's put this blue in there. Fill this up. Now you can do this before or after, but since I've got this colour here ready, ready and we wearing, <laughs> wearing to be used, I might as well use it. Now I just glanced at my picture and I went a bit lighter, so get some more of the white in. We'll go for about that, quite like that. Might use a bit of the cobalt blue to cool things down in that bit there. And then there's this foreground water. Gonna throw that in as well. A bit of white. Of course we're gonna be covering that, the edges anyway, so we don't have to be too uh, precise. Okay, sit back, having a look. Quite like what we've got so far, I might just put in a little bit of white here and there. 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 Look at that sitting back. Bit of white there as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> what I might do, uh, thinking the, the background hill I don't really want it to stand out too much now I'm thinking I'm starting to my brain is starting to tick over a bit and I was thinking oh if I put a little bit of green out a little bit of sap green and while this color is still usable because I put a little bit of the fluid retarder in it's not dried out so fast that was the first thing I learned when I was doing acrylics <laughs> I was like, ooh, fluid retarder. I won't have to just keep all my tubes right next to me and keep putting it out as I use them, which is what I do as well. I still do that a bit actually when I use acrylics. So I've got this green in with the blue. Because I was thinking if I could put in some, put in this color, it would create a nice background color this hill and then the summit to think about is no, it's just another little tip for you whoops I dropped my brush another little tip is when you're doing distance you don't want sharp edges you want it to be soft yeah nice and soft so I use a soft brush and then on that edge I can just softly go over it and it will just disappear, disappear. So you need to do that while it's still wet. <laughs> Otherwise you're in trouble. So I'll just wash that. There is one other bonus about acrylics I find is 
it washes off your brush so well. <laughs> really does. Right, so what have we got going? We've got this background bit. Uh, we need to start thinking about coming forward a bit and using some more colours. Just move some of these, all these brushes. Put them in the uh, the cup, <laughs> the fisherman cup <laughs> that I got ages ago, and uh, we use a pink. Well, we're looking at that. Some green. There's some yellow. Wow. Some of these uh, tubes are sealed on. <laughs> Haven't used them in a while, and they uh, they've just gone. So I have to use a real a little bit of uh, painter's power to open it. <laughs> so I'm going to get some burnt umber and yellow ochre. I'm going to put them there. Might use the same brush that I've been doing all this painting with. I'll put a dot of fluid retarder on there. Boop, boop. Just so I don't have to worry too much. And. Here we go, let's have a look. Let's do the yellowy bit. So I've got some green. Slap green in with the yellow ochre. And my brush has got a little bit of blue on still. And we'll see what this creates. Yeah, I quite like this colour. We'll put that in the background. And while, while I'm using this colour, I might as well think about using it here as well. Create a bit of a green. No, I could theoretically start filling it in with this colour and then do different colours on top of it. Could paint like that because it dries quick. Nah, I'll carry on. Carry on, get a bit of brown, a bit of the brown in with the yellow. We'll change some of it. I don't want it to be the same. Some of this area in the front is changing. So, of course, as you are the painter, <laughs> for your painting, you can do it whatever you like. Don't think, oh well, Jason did this, I need to do that as well. You can choose how you want your painting to go. I am sort of uh, experimenting a little bit, making a dark, get some green and blue, green, blue, and some of that brown. Green, blue, some of the brown, make a nice dark. Dark bluey green. That's quite nice. I'm starting to think about these trees. It's not quite blue enough for me, so I'll put a bit more blue in. Yeah, that's better. I'm kind of changing the flavour a little bit when in areas. And I'm still using the same brush. Thinking tree forts. Some trees going along there, look. Trees on the end, right there. Trees going around here. Maybe a few. Going down there as well. Okay. And maybe if I go into a bit of the light colour with the tree colour, I can put some really distant ones there. Real distant ones. Now, sitting back, having a look. 
Might wipe my brush with a paper towel. I want to start thinking about the uh, angles of. Oh, I got some on my finger then. <laughs> Whoops. I'm starting to think about the angles of uh, the, the land. So I'm going to start thinking, and oh, there's a cliff a bit there, and it sort of goes down. Down like that. See how quickly it's created something there. Just with a few simple brush strokes, uh, it's amazing what changes happen. Okay, and I want to I'll create this darkness. That's the way the connection is a little bit more. A little bit more here. Looks like change of the colour. Keep sitting back and having a look. See if I want to change anything. If I want to put a little bit of... tempted. Now, when I first painted this, I was like, I haven't put any red in there. I was thinking I could possibly add a little bit of strength in the color. Not sure, but we could see. See if we put a little bit of that red, a little bit of red, let's get a tiny bit because it's quite strong, isn't it? Go into this yellow, it's a bit of brown as well. So I've got like a dirty red, and I'm thinking maybe some areas would work with that. See what I think. Just sort of breaks the green up a little bit, adds a little bit more to it, I suppose. Yeah, I kind of like that amount. I think if I put more on. In fact, I think I have got a bit too much on. I think I need to tone it down a little bit with some green. So let's get a bit more green. A bit more of the green. More of the green. a little bit under there. So back. Yeah, I quite like that. I think that's enough. I don't think it needs a great deal more. I think possible problems is there. I think that needed something. Maybe I could put in a few lines there to indicate uh, the shape. A few bits of brown. So 
back, have a look. Yeah, I think that's enough for that. Let us use a bit of red in this brown. A bit of green in it as well. Green and, green and brown. Let's start thinking about this under here. So, start putting some colour in. Slightly different to that, so let's put a bit more blue in it. Probably make it a bit closer, yeah. Do that little bit there. I kind of want that under there as well. That colour. Yeah, just sit back, having another look. Is there anything I feel I could change? I want to uh, put that in along here again. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer that, uh, that line there. And then we can start coming forward a little bit. Get a bit more red in this brown and start putting some around here. Bit of uh, blue in the brown, of course. Bit of blue. around that. Okay, a bit more of the brown. Just kind of filling in a little bit. Areas where it's more brown, it's got more yellow in it, or it's got more red in it, just to give it a bit of variety to the colours. Some bits got more blue in it. That's what I wanted. That's my foreground. I quite like that shape. <clears throat> I put it a little bit. Sound like I've swallowed a frog. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm okay again, I think. I was just thinking. Uh, <clears throat> I'll put a little bit more blue in there and a bit more. There, just to cool areas down a little bit. A little bit there. 
Okay, now get some of the uh, infamous cadmium yellow. Infamous. Yeah. Open that one up. I'll put it in here and amongst us. And now I can start adding some uh, nice bright spots in amongst this of this yellow, just like in the original picture. And now it's making me think maybe I should have some on the background. Let's have a look. Let's just put some in and then see what happens. This is just areas that are going to get the uh, yellow treatment. <laughs> Bit of yellow ochre in with it as well. Green, yellow ochre. So the other thing that I find with um, using oils, I can really load my brush and put some on where this, these acrylics, they feel like they need a little bit more help. <laughs> or maybe I just need to use more paint or some structured gel. I've seen some of that. I think I've got some of that actually. You know, in fact, I know I have when I think about it. I have to try that. But this is working okay. It's quite nice. It just shows that you can use acrylics to create something different. I might use a bit of red. A bit of that bright red. Get some warmth and. some of that in here and there. Be nice to have a little bit of that dirty colour there. <laughs> Just kind of change things a bit. Okay, I think I need a little bit of white. Get some of this white. I need to be on white. In with my colour that I've been messing around with. Just make a brighter version of it. And certain areas I can uh, brighten up a bit. to be all dark. Some light bits here and there. Here and there. Maybe some lights hitting that bit. So I'm going to knock a bit of light in it. Trying to do the whole painting at once rather than separating it. A bit more light in here and there. And I think we can call this one, get a bit of brown. Brown and blue, what have got in there? Brown, blue, yellow, all sorts in there. Change the flavour a little bit here and there. A bit of the old red. Warm some of these bits up here. I like this bit that's sort of warm. There. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Not too bad, and maybe what I'll do. I think it'd be nice to have a little 
little birdie in the uh, sky. Let's get some of this blue, blue and brown. Let's see if I can put. Okay, <laughs> well thanks for watching this uh, fun little acrylic painting, hope you enjoyed it, hope it made you aware that it's possible to do paintings that I do using acrylics as well, with a little bit of practice, and with a little bit of knowledge from Clive, Clive Five Art, because <laughs> that's where I've been learning, then uh, yeah, you'll be fine. And now I've got the hiccups and uh <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another episode. Cheers, bye.